Welcome back to the channel. I'm going to talk about my Kogan mobile experience after one day. Kogan Mobile Australia. So on the 24th of January 2023, I decided to port in one of my numbers from another carrier. It's not my personal number. With e with eSIM, with Kogan Mobile, activated on the Pixel 6 Pro. And then two hours later, I decided to try the 6A with that Kogan number. Long behold, you had to purchase another two dollar eSIM on the website. Call customer service back up, and then get the website that they say. Or you got to fill out your ID the form to prove who you are every time you want to change phones, and you got to order another two dollars eSIM every time you want to change phones. So it's not like moving your eSIM from a Pixel 2 XL to a Pixel 7 Pro. Not possible with Kogan Mobile. Got to go to the website, order a $2 SIM, call customer service up again to get them to transfer the number over. Then go to this website to fill out a form every time you want to do it. And then get a code sent to your email address. And then go to customer service again, call them up, give them that code so they can transfer the number over to the new eSIM and then you gotta and then after that Kogan Mobile will never ever get my service ever again we will not and plus if you're on a prepaid plan with them you gotta put a different credit card that, you have, that you've got still that hasn't expired but put no money on it for 90 days so they can recycle that number and you won't have to deal with Kogan Mobile ever again and on that note Kogan Mobile Australia will never ever get my number at all or a new number from them do not ever ever put your personal number onto Kogan Mobile Australia because you've got to go through those steps every time to change phones Techno head out.